Winter camping isn't to be taken lightly. It's, it's a serious activity, but it can be a lot of fun. We need to make sure that we've covered our basic requirements of warm clothes in layers, proper shelter, food, and pre-planned activities that we may want to do while we're winter camping. So I'm going to take the sled here and I'm going to put a tarp over it before I load everything because we don't want snow to get into our camping gear if we can prevent it. Rick show Claire and the group some of the essentials you need for winter camping, like a good sleeping bag, foam rubber pads, and a small hiking pack equipped with all the essentials, like energy bars. The group found the perfect spot meeting all the winter campsite criteria. It has enough space to fit all of the tents, shelter from the wind, and plenty of sun. Let's have a snow packing party. Now that they've found their site, it's time for some basic site preparation. Okay, right now, Claire is going to clear off the picnic table so we can cook some dinner tonight. And Kathy and Anna right now are trying to find our fire pit. So if we just make a fire right on top of the snow, in a matter of about 20 minutes, it's going to be down there anyway. And then it was time to set up the tents. <laughs> This is the rain fly, which is the main protective part. How about that? Now that the campsite is ready, Kathy gets the fire pit going while the others check out the scenery. In no time at all, we're ready to hit the sack. When I woke up this morning, the whole tent was covered in frost. I, my pillow was covered in frost. My, I, my gloves and coat were covered in frost. All the walls were covered in frost. It was really cold. Fortunately, the group woke up to some hot oatmeal, thanks to Chef Brick. And then it was off for a morning hike to see Copper Falls. <laughs> 